You know what it means to transition from I can to I am? To transition mentally from I can to I am. I'm gonna give you three key nuggets today to make sure that your mission impossible becomes mission I'm possible. Come join us, I think you're gonna love how we finish the week. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday, October 16th. How's everybody doing? Hope you're in a good place in a safe space as we conclude the week this week of Mission Impossible. I hope you've enjoyed some of the key nuggets this week. I hope you enjoyed how we talked about the five whys yesterday. I hope you start using them and incorporating them into some of those negative conversations you're having with your peers. So today we want to transition and conclude the week and finish strong. Transitioning from I can to I am. I love this song. It's by one of my favorite hip hop artists named Nas. He's got this song called I Know I Can Be What I Want to Be. And he has these beautiful young children singing the hook. I know I can be what I want to be if I work hard at it. I'll be what I want to be. And you know, that song is over like 10 years old, but it still resonates with me throughout the course of my life because I'm still saying, I know I can. I know I can. So I know I can, but I'm starting to transition now to, I know I am. Do you know the difference? It's like that movie, Neo in the Matrix, when he started to believe in himself enough to say, I am the one. It's like that movie, The Last Dragon, with Bruce Leroy, and he started to recognize at the end, I am the one. It makes me think about other areas and other movies and other things, but you understand what I'm saying. And I want us to get back to those three P's. What does it take for you to transition from I can to I am? Focus on those three P's. The first one, patience. Stay patient. Just stay patient. Enjoy the journey. Nothing easily obtained is worth having. We talk about go slow to go fast. All those things, you know what we mean. It's not a race, it's a marathon. Put your shoes on. Nothing easily obtained is worth having, and if it is, you better run. The next one, stay persevering, just persevere. Continue to persevere, continue to fight, continue to have grit, continue to be there to be the last man or one man standing. Because everybody around you, that's what they want you to do is pack up and go and go back home and sit on the couch. Continue to persevere. And last but not least, stay positive. I can't tell you enough. This is probably the most important one. Stay positive. Stay as positive as you can. When you get up in the morning, start off with some positivity. Start off talking to him. Start off talking to something that's giving you something to motivate you. You got to stay protected like Superman or Superwoman. You got to have it protect you. Because honestly, anytime somebody comes at you with some of that negative crap, you got to have that repository of positivity to say, you know what, whatever. I am. I am. Remember Neo in the Matrix? They tried to shoot all those bullets at him and he put his hand up like this. And they all just fell to the ground. People would tell me at McDonald's, why you wear a suit every day? Because that's my Kevlar, that's my protection to make me know that I can do everything. I am what I say I am. I am positive, I am a role model, I'm a beast, I'm a gorilla. You have to have these three P's a part of your life. I can't tell you enough because they're gonna make sure you transition from mission impossible to mission not possible and to transition from I can to I am. And not to let anybody tell you you aren't. I've enjoyed this week of Mission Impossible. I truly have. I will remember this one because I feel like right now I'm transitioning 
through everything that we talked about and I'm utilizing these tools to make sure I'm built up to finish this race because guess what? I am going to be a millionaire. I am going to be super successful. I am going to live a juicy life. I promise you that. And I hope that you're here with me to see us grow together. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hope you've loved today, this week. I look forward to seeing you next week with some more juicy content here on Jay's Chronicles. Get you some. Take care, everybody.